Reeling Up the Coast is proudly brought to you today by Key West Boats. Key West Boats, built by fishermen for fishermen. Visit Key West online or visit a local dealer to find the model right for you. Hey folks, we got a great show for you today and I want to welcome K2 Coolers on board Reeling Up the Coast as our new official cooler. These roto molded coolers are the best out on the market and we've got ours loaded with sweet tea today. So you know what that means. We're joining Captain Fred Rourke, his son Daniel, and myself, and we're going to be heading out, hopefully going to chase some tails out on the flats just outside of Georgetown. we got a great show for you today, and it starts right now. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by these following sponsors. Harry's Bait and Tackle, offering the freshest bait in our area since 1954. By Towboat US, Little River, Myrtle Beach. Sign up today and we'll make sure you get home safely. By Coastal Angler Magazine. Pick up your free Coastal Angler Magazine and check out what's going on in Carolina's coastal waters and beyond. Also check out Captain E's article each month. By Seven Seas Seafood, offering its customers the freshest choices of seafood caught locally and served by the best chefs on the Grand Strand. And by South Carolina Bank and Trust. At SCBT, it's our beliefs that set us apart. We believe in our people, our customers, and communities we serve. Put a refreshing spin on your summer. Bud Light Lime. Superior drinkability. Ultimate refreshment. A splash of 100% natural lime flavor. One taste and you'll find the summer state of mind. Bud Light Lime. Where can you buy 2011 RAV4s for 21 dollars Sparks Toyota. At Sparks Toyota, buy the 2011 RAV4 for 21 dollars or 0.9 APR for 60 months. Buy the 2012 Tacoma for 23 dollars 23 dollars or 2.9 APR for 60 months. Plus, get Sparks Toyota's preferred customer program. Log on to SparksToyota.com. And hurry, these great deals end soon at Sparks Toyota, where the dealer is always in. Fresh seafood, savor the taste of flame grilled steaks, burgers and dogs, hot dogs, and the dead dogs. Relax in the hammock, enjoy the view, dance with the band to your favorite view. We'll see y'all soon yeah. at the dead dog saloon in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, USA. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves, and an adventure is always awaiting. Step into the Southeast's largest climate-controlled showrooms and select your next boat, Wave Runner or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Skeeter and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha Wave Runners, Stingray Power Boats, and Arctic Cat all-terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas, and our service experience is second to none. We're just a short drive from where you are now. Family, fun, and fishing begins at Marshall's Marine, Lake City. Hot dog. Yeah, Way to go, Daniel. Easy. Easy. Bro. You want to get easy. that other line out of the way? No, it'll be all right. Easy. You know that. That's you know. great. Now, I mean, I tell you, how many different things are we going to do today? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it takes, Look bro. Here. Whatever it takes. That's awesome. That's a nice red. Daniel, come on now. Don't lose this one. Don't lose this one. Don't lose this one. There we go. That's a pretty red fish. Oh, yeah. You want to get that camera? That <laughs> yeah, we got him. Go ahead. You just get fish, buddy. Daniel, take him that way. Have E lift that rod. Go rod? under. Yeah, yeah come on go over. under him. There we go. He's orange, too. Bring he him around pretty, this way. Bring him on around. All right. All right, come on over there, and I'll get this back in the rod holder and get ready for the next one. Look at his shoulders on that. Way to go. Way to go, Daniel. Cool. You Good know what hook. I say right here? Thank you, Lord. Good hook. All right. Clemson fan. That's, that's a pretty one. Now, that's a big redfish. That's a nice red. 
Where to go, Daniel? Where to go, Daniel? Look at the belly on him, bud. He you is. think these fish are eating? <laughs> well, look at <laughs> he's like, look at the gut. They're on eating him. a bunch, aren't they? Check out the color in the fins. I hear he's drumming too. Oh, Aren't you oh, ready? Oh. Is he hooked? Yeah, he's hooked. I got, got another fish right on here. good. I'm right, gonna we'll we'll get this one huh? charged up and gone. Hang on, hang on. Is he there? No, 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 no. What did he hit? He was right behind the boat, right here. Oh. All right, let it sit. Let it sit. He didn't blow up. See him? He's broadsiding. He's a little fish. He's facing right. He's facing us now. Coming to us. Coming in the grass right now. Yep. Get him, me. All right, a little more. Who? Oh. He's going. He ahead. wants it. Wiggle it. He might come back to it. Little fish. He was wanting it. Oh, that he's was still him. He's chasing it. You see him looking in the water. Yeah, here he is. He's right he's here. He's right there. Oh, my God. He finally saw us. <laughs> Golly. He was following it. That was cool. Yeah, he wasn't giving up, was he? He was like, wasn't sure, but he was going to still look at it. All right, let's find us another one. Oh, darn it. <laughs> he was begging y'all to catch him. I, I see one. I see one right now. <clears throat> yeah, but you got to admit. Look at that one. That's a big one, too. Don't see him. Right there. He's in that little pool right behind that green. All right, here we go. See him? Still don't have him. Can I just get him? Hang on. Let me, let me get us around. Yes! Yeah, baby. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like it, brother. I like it. Oh, my God. That is where the fun is. <laughs> Getting out and stalking him. Got the yes. big buck, didn't you? This is what I wanted to do. Then what you handle the fish? Hot dog, money. That's a nice one too. Walking like a dog. Come on, buddy. We're gonna take you back here to the boat. We're gonna make you famous. <laughs> Oh yeah, hot dog, Miley. Good job, Angler. Look at him. Good job, buddy. What a beautiful fish, God Almighty! It doesn't get any better than this. Nice man, nice. Oh yes. I mean, how much better does it make it that I got out and chased after him? That's your fish. That is <laughs> awesome, dude. Let's see what what a great time. Open your bail. 20, 22 inches, big old slot fish. That is awesome, dude. That is hey, awesome. Don't want to put that in the salt water. My bad. Oh yeah, we want to get a picture of this. Hot dog, guys. Sweet tea charters. God I like that. Tailing redfish. Good job. It doesn't man. get any better. Good job. Golly. He was happy too. Wasn't he? he was happy. He was happy. He's happy to see you. Oh man, man look at what? the belly, English, look at the belly of that fish. This year, man, these fish have been eating, but he is thick. Keep him in the water here. I'll tell you what, there's two more fish over there I know I saw. <laughs> I know, there's a, there's a few. I see. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to get this fish back. We got some more tail and red action for you with Sweet Tea Charters. This segment brought to you by Polly's Island Outdoors. Our knowledgeable staff can help you choose from top-of-the-line tackle, apparel, guns, and hunting gear to boat rentals and guide service. We are your connection to the outdoors. Visit us on Highway 17 in Polly's Island.
tips and techniques. I'm joined by Kevin from Polly's Island Outdoors. And we've got some great tips that are going to help you catch bait while you're out there. And Kevin, you know, while you guys and uh, some other places have wonderful live bait that you can go get, nothing uh, can, can, can be traded for catching you what's out there in the water. Mullet, man, hayden, shrimp, whatever it is. And you've got some great nets here, and, and, and you're going to give us a technique to teach some of the viewers how to throw a net. Now explain some of the choices we have when looking for a net. Right, well there are different nets for different situations, different size baits. Uh, this is a four foot, quarter inch mesh, which you would use on your smaller baits, mud minnows, small grass ramp, or your smallest finger mullet. Then you go up to a three eighths inch mesh, which you would use for your bigger, bigger mullet, bigger, finger, uh, bigger mud minnows, and your larger shrimp. Then a half inch mesh, which is required by state for catching shrimp, and that's going to catch your menhaden, your large mullet, and then a 5 8 which is typically for large offshore menhaden schools, bigger bait, a lot of heavier weights on it for deeper drop rates. Um, I've got a technique that I'll show you for throwing one. Um, it's known as the dry technique, but I've yet to throw a cast net and stay dry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't think that works, does I'm, it? I'm a come, no, not very well. I've started by looping the line, extra line here in my left hand. I'm going to stretch the net out to its full length. This is a six footer. I'll divide the net in half. And then I'm going to split the net. I'll lay that over my hand. Take a section here for my mouth. And here and back to here. You want your hands close together for this. And come out of the store, I'll show you this in detail. That's a real easy technique. And then with just technique. a short hip swing and a slide upward throw. Look at that. You get a good open net and you get to fishing a lot quicker. And also, with a lot of times with, with that technique and, and what you would be targeting with that net, you're going to have to throw it a good many times. You're going to be moving around and throwing it. That's a simple technique. Easy to get it loaded up. You know, you're not doing any separation over your shoulder or anything like that That's that right. a lot of guys teach. That's real simple. And if they come in, you'll help teach them that and help them pick out the right net because you've got it right here at Pauly's Island Outdoors. That's exactly right. And if they don't want to throw the net, you've got some mud minnows back there you'll sell now them to. I'm going to you some cut bait <laughs> or some fresh mud minnows. Guys, listen. Thanks again to Kevin for uh, sharing another tip with us today. Get out. Learn to use these tips. That's the only way it's going to get any better. I'm going back to the water. Thanks for watching. All right, we're rolling. Who knows what it could be? Oh yeah, there it goes. It oh like yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a red. It's a red, I think. <laughs> this is a pig. Well, we've been watching that cork in this. Oh, what is it? A red. Huh? It's like a nice red, I think. Shabot. I can't tell yet, bud. Oh! And this, <laughs> this color of water, I can't tell. Look at that. Hot dog. That looks like a red right there. Yeah. And he ate and just sat there. I, I think you might like one of those. Oh, come on. Daniel, get this one. Right, Go on. quick. Go quick. Go oh. quick. It's a red. Red. Nice red. I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> I told you, I thought I saw him hit it. I know, and then, it, then we saw the splash. Yeah. And then the cork just sat. I think it just ran the cork up the line, but the cork looked like it's yeah. close. The cork was stuck in the grass, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, the cork was way up the line. That's what that. it is. That's why we couldn't figure out what was going on. Nice fish, too. Yeah, it is. Oh, 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 Daniel, I feel terrible. <laughs> you were supposed to get to reel this one in. <laughs> oh, man. Nice pig out the grass here, Bubba. Nice pig out the grass. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Smile. Yeah, baby. Smile. Keep his head in, buddy. <laughs> we put Fred to work. Dad, you want me get in that? Look at that big old pig in the grass. Look buddy. at that. He didn't even know what to do. Ooh, baby. Hot dog. That's exciting. Daniel, look what we did. <laughs> Look what we did! Yeah, Get him, boy. I'm sorry, dude. I, that was supposed to be your fish. That was supposed to be your fish, man. That's a pig right there. And we're gonna cut that and let him yeah, go. Yeah, he's got he's got the hook. So we'll just let him have. God, that's a nice fish there. 
Look at that. There we go. Nice. Baby. Picture time. Come on. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a great time with Sweet Tea Charters. Hot, almighty. It's a big old male. Yep. Steady, steady. And, and you're red. Your red fishing is just getting better by the day right now. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's a good time of year. <laughs> That's a big old pig. His head's big as mine. <laughs> he looks a lot better, though. He's a lot better looking. Hold on him. There we go. Hand under. You want to revive him? Hand under. There we go. Hand under. I got him. Got him? Hand under. Come under. Here. Bring your hand All right. under. Let go. Let go here. You got me? I yeah, got him. We got you. I got you on this end. There we go. Now. All right. Listen at him drumming. Hang on, Steve. Well, the good thing is it didn't take long to get him in. Not too long. Oh. He's ready to roll. Nice. Hot dog, Fat. Daniel. All right, Daniel. We got to get him back out there and find you one. Yeah. I'll let you reel in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I always let everybody reel in the fish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's All put right, him back dad, in there and get re-rigged. He's slipping around. He's slipping? Yeah. We'll let your dad put him in there and watch this. Watch how quick he swims off. I got him. Watch how quick he swims off. Why don't you grab that underwater camera? There we go. Is it on? Here, you take it. You get some. Tell him to smile for the camera. Tell him to smile for the camera. Red lights on, right? Yep, you're good. All right, in the water. Oh, yeah. He's going to swim right off. <laughs> See ya. Good release, yeah, buddy. Man. Hot, though, cool. buddy. That was a strange bike right I'll there. tell you what. What we'll a strange it. day, though. You and I were just talking about it. You know, with this front coming through, that wind picked up. We had to come off those flats. I don't know. It's been, it's been unusual in that fish. I mean, we're both sitting here watching it, and the cork's not moving. And then we see something break like a big fish, and that was him. Yeah, he, he, he was, was on it. And then he just sat there. Well, That's we'll take that. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Let's get another one. Let's get one from my friend Daniel here. Hot dog, mighty. Nice. Yeah. Nice big I love fish. It. I love it. I love it. Folks, don't go anywhere. We got a pause for the calls and some words from our wonderful sponsors. We'll be right back with some more tight lines. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by Coastal Gas and Merle's Inlet. Free ice with purchase of 50 gallons of fuel. Located behind the Chamber of Commerce. And by Ag South, rural America's lender of choice for land, farm, and home loans. By Fishizzle Tackle. Reels are gonna sizzle when you go Fishizzle. Visit FishizzleTackle.com for your nearest dealer. By Ice Recycling in Lake City, South Carolina. Leading the way in Good friend Fred Rourke and Sweet Tea Charters. Fred, thanks yeah. as always. And there's a reason we fish with you at least once a year. It's because you always put us on fish and we have a great time. And you always educate our viewers. And, and you know, we had a great time, Daniel. You know, you call you lost a couple, but that's gonna happen. That's why they call it fishing, right? Oh, yeah. And that's not why they call it catching. Man, we you and I've been fishing together for three years though. Three that's years we've been fishing together. That's and a lot. you're actually you're actually becoming a, a great fisherman. I love fishing with you. And uh, I know your dad's very proud of you and we look forward to fishing with you for years to come. And now we did three different things today. We got out and that wind picked up like it's blowing right now and had to pull off that flat. Right. It was just a little too rough. And um, we, we left from there and went and caught a couple of trout and then caught some redfish. Yep. And we used three different techniques, which, uh, you know, I think we've shared before, but we always like for you to share what we were doing. And, yeah. you know, you can go through real quick and run down what we were doing here. Well, I mean, this was um, about as simple as it gets, but it's a popping cork. Same Loomis rods we've been using all the time. It's a 903 green water Loomis with a 3000 series Sargus. And I, and I, y'all probably heard me say this before too. Even on my heavy rods, I'm still using the 3000s. So I use 3000s on everything. So these little, these little reels do a good job. That's a DOA shrimp um, that was recommended to me by uh, Stump at Paul Island Outdoors. Yep. And this has been a good color. And you know, in a popping cork. And this time of year in the fall and stuff is, I mean, it'll work. It'll work all the way up through the winter, as long as the creeks are noisy and there's lots of bait moving around. Popping corks are deadly. I mean, it's a good, real effect. Yeah, Stump actually shared that rig with us in one of our uh, tips and technique segment this yeah. year. Yeah, and, and this this was our, our uh, yeah this was a little different than a little different than uh, we have been doing. This is a thank you, Daniel. This is a, a green. I mean, a, a Loomis medium heavy rod. It's an 844. It's just a heavy action rod. Which still a 3,000 reel, but we got 40 pound line on this. Right. One. So we got 40 pound braided line, and then 40 pound fluorocarbon, using a owner foil circle hook. Yep. 
And this is basically in the grass, and as you'll probably see in the videos, we had the corks in the grass, but the corks really aren't floating the bait. We get the bait, we want it to go down, but really it's just marking where it is, so we can kind of keep track of where we're putting them. It's not so much as it's floating in the water, as it's just showing us where we went with a circle. Circle, from what we're doing different, is you don't set the hook, you just let them go tight. Right. You know, and, and that big pick. Well, I got, that big, I got that big 33-inch head on that with no problem. Right. Didn't, didn't kill the fish. And then, right. And of course, this was our uh, flats set up, and man, I tell you what, Fred, I'm coming back. Ne next high tide, we're coming back. I want to go again. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, and I made this comment a lot that my only, to recreational fish, it's, that's what I do. So if I'm going to fun fish, I'll take Daniel and Noah, my other boy, and, and you know, if we're going fun fishing, I'm going to go. But a lot of low tide fishing stuff, I normally don't want to do that for fun, but to go sight cast fish, yeah, that's, you know, that's what I like to do. It's the most fun, it's the most challenging, the most rewarding when you get them to the boat. You know, some days you're not going to go out, you're not going to go out there and catch 12 fish. Nope. So if you can go and get you one and, and get a tailing fish and see him, pursue him, get him, walk to him, hook the fish up, <laughs> there's a lot going on. I mean, it, it, it's, it's... Well, you know, after the last time we went and I didn't get one walking, you know, actually... Right you know, pursuing the fish that way. I, I wanted to do that today, and I got to do that. You know, yeah. I mean, that was that made my day right there, and I'm sure the viewers can tell how excited I get. I mean, it's just something that you've got to try. Yeah, and I mean, when you walked up there, I mean, I was still on the boat and platform. You were still, see, we were seeing three fish when you approached the one that you caught. I mean, we were seeing fish beyond that. I mean, it's a cool oh, deal. Oh, I got man. over there, you know, after we landed that fish, and I went back out, and and had those two fish tailing side by side and then the one off to the side that I know was big. Right. But but like you said, you know, I could throw I was throwing the bait over there, hitting them and they were in that one little hole and the water could have been real dirty and they right. weren't seeing it, but I tried. And yeah. then that wind picked up and there was nothing else we could do. I mean, that's just how it goes. It's, I it's, mean it's like I told you, more more likely the English had two fish that were real in close proximity to each other. And they're rooting around and it's it's only ten inches deep. May, we'll call it a foot. It's a foot deep, you got two big fish and they're muddy, everything's muddy. So even though you put it where it needed to go, they just didn't see it. Right. Either because their head angle was down or either it was just muddy, they didn't see it come by. If, if those fish had seen that bait, they'd have nailed it. I mean, you had it in their kitchen, they just, they just have to see it. Well, this is the same rig we use in the wintertime with you, too, isn't it? Pretty well, much. I use this some, but what we do primarily in the winter is the jigs. With the curly tail. That's bucks. right. That's right. And we're and we're slow fishing those. Yeah, I can't wait to get uh, Fishizzle's new quarter ounce jig down, and we'll yeah, try it this winter. We'll, yeah, those it, things look really good. Yeah, um, Michael hooked me up, and we'll we'll give those a shot. But yeah, they're gonna do the job. We got the big hook in them. Yep. The big wire on the hook. Big wire on the hook. Even on a lightweight jig, and that that's that's what you got to look for. You know, as you get lighter in jigs, you get lighter wire. So yeah, the ones I've got from him, yeah, those are gonna work great. Well, I tell you what, you know, I, I call you guys the ten percent club because you do put in a lot more than a hundred percent in what you do, and, and and I don't think it says anything more than George Pavaramo calling you to ask you to do the saltwater <laughs> series with him, do the seminars, and that's awesome. I'm so happy to see you're going to be doing that. That's that'll be great for you. Yeah, and and George is a good guy, and I've known George for quite a while and done some other seminars and stuff at Bass Pro with him and uh, you know this year I saw him a few weeks ago when we talked again and, and told me he wanted to get me to participate and you know it's, it's, it's cool and one thing I'll say about George is the guy you see on TV that's the guy he really is right. so he, I mean he's really he's a fun guy to be with always wants to talk fish he's a real nice guy so yeah I look forward well, to doing I'm that well I'm sure you're going to tell people on your website yeah You'll let people know when your seminar is, it's out of Charleston and everything right. else, and they'll yeah. be able to go to your website for that, as well as you guys are definitely going to want to come down and do some fishing with him. We're getting into his favorite time of the year, yeah. just when he'll be able to put you on all those fish, and you need to get down here. Now, Fred, what's your website? It's SweetTeaCharters.com. And your phone number for everybody to get in touch with you. 843-241-4767. All right, guys. Once again, what a great time hanging out with the Rooks. I mean, Daniel... I can't wait. We're going back again, I promise you. I would love to take you hunting because I know you're into outdoors and, and, and I know your dad's proud of you for all of that. But you love being outdoors and you play a little baseball and some sports and you wreck bicycles and other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving him a hard time because he's still healing. But it was a great time, guys. There's, there's nothing like coming down to Georgetown and getting out with Sweet Tea Charters. Now listen, we're going to head across the water over here and get the boat out the water. We had a great time today. We hope you'll join us next week for some more exciting adventures and reeling up the coast.